<laughs> Holding and balance vibrations, family. Zero to one. Zero to one. There's a rhythm to oneness. Patterns of life take you up, down, high, low, and all the way through. And once you identify your patterns, your circles become spirals unbridled. So walk with courage, walk strong, and even run. But remember, put the zero before the one. Zero before the one is a podcast that we're diving into. And today is the first episode. I'm your brother, Curtis Haru. And this is my supreme sister. Shereen, so fast. Giving thanks for life. Absolutely. This power duo in which we are. Today's first episode, we're going to dive into what is entitled The Buoy. What is a buoy? Are you a buoy? Who are you? Buoy me? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's talk about what our podcast is. What did we say that we were going to um, have this evolve into or, or allow this to evolve into? What did we say? So we say zero to one. And that's navigating yeah. the world's influences on your own time. Mm-hmm. Understanding mm-hmm. that you're not late. You cannot be late. Everything is in divine order. So in moving with that um, supreme knowledge, you know that, and you can absolutely rest in that feeling of um, surety and safety. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, not feeling, you can basically erase the feelings of anxiousness if you can just bring yourself back to that remembrance mm-hmm. of that knowing yeah that, balance, that wholeness in the yeah. center in the center and that's what we're diving into so each everyone each and everyone have their own journey at their own pace and yes. even if you have a twin even if I, t- I tell my students I'm a teacher even if you had a twin you would still be different uniquely yourself so there's really no one who that can compete in the realm in which you live. So do your thing, you know? Absolutely. You know, you think about in, in the reference with the twins, twins even have different fingerprints. Everyone here has a different fingerprint. So there is no possible way. And that's your fingerprint for your life. Not mm-hmm. just on your hand, mm-hmm. but your fingerprint for your life. So look at it that way and allow mm-hmm. yourself to journey with graciousness, mm-hmm. with kindness to yourself, with mm-hmm. compassion and respect for divine timing, which is your timing, which is mm-hmm. our timing. <laughs> our our yes. time. So diving yes. in, take a sound of this. And I want you to imagine with me as we go through the buoy. So if you don't know what a buoy is, A buoy is one of those devices that sits out in the ocean. This buoy uh, sends signals of different uh, territories, warnings, uh, or it could be a call uh, in the depths of the ocean that shows you where you are, a specific location, a specific period, a specific uh, altitude, wherever you are in the ocean. We're going to go in deep in this. So imagine yourself this buoy. Solo, out in the world, out in the ocean. Under the stars, the cosmos. Listen to the ocean. Every ripple different than the last. You might have Just some allowing. in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely, just allowing yourself to, to just be allowing yourself to be vulnerable, yet protected. Calling out, if you need be, with a little rain. Let everybody know I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. I'm yeah. holding my, I'm holding my space. Yes. You're unique and indelible space 
the space that is set forth on this vast ocean just for you. Mm. Not sinking, not in danger. Mm -hmm. And like the buoy, we find ourselves by ourselves. For my favorite quote, you find yourself when you're by yourself. And many times in this world with so many shared spaces from homes to workspaces to this planet, you know, it can come pretty crowd, quiet, crowded. But oftentimes you have to get some alone time for that silence to see yourself, to free, free yourself, talk to yourself. And in that space, you find yourself, what you like, what you're about, what you feel, you know, what your inner voice sounds like. Have you experienced it's those true. moments when you have to, I have to separate and go in my own space? <laughs> I know I have. And, and that's where I find my truest self. That's where I find my acceptance mm. of self, you know. And that's where it is the most comfortable for you to say, I am my own buoy. I am that. I am that singular thing in this vast ocean of people, places, and things and energies. But yet I am myself and I'm accepting the, the buoyancy <laughs> mm -hmm. of my life and my choices within my life. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Yeah, at buoyancy, I love that because even the the bounce, the flow, nothing yeah. in this world is a straight line. Nothing is flat. You know, let Terrence Howard tell it. <laughs> yeah. Right, shout that. out to brother. Yeah, give thanks to that brother. Yes. Oh yeah, that's, that was a later talk right there. Um, yeah. the flow, the flow every day. You know, <laughs> especially on moon days when we know shift changes. You know, it happens, phases. Uh, every day is a new day. Every day, even if it's called the same day. Or it's another Monday. Just another manic month. <laughs> and you just, <laughs> it ain't the same. None of them are yeah. the same. It's another continuous now moment unfolding. So again, every ripple, every day, you going through a new you, a new change, a new opportunity to tap in. New opportunity to engage with the world. So as you come back from your, your buoyness, your buoyancy, floating out there in the world, that could be in a meditation, mm -hmm. which I love so much. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yo, it's, let's give, give the glory of meditation is so important to be able to step in your own space consciously. Like I'm going to meditate, right? This space right here between 4.30 to 5.30. Six, seven, six o'clock to eight o'clock, nine, three, whatever your time is, is your sacred time to give to self. And that right there mm. should not be tampered with, shouldn't be interrupted. But sometimes that is the opera, that is the meditation. When someone does interrupt you, it proves that this space that you've been floating you in, hold, you know, yeah. your flow, when it's interrupted, you know. Yeah. No, like just proof. like a wave because out on the ocean think about it that wave is going to come it doesn't it doesn't care it doesn't care that you're sitting out there floating it's going to come on through but will mm -hmm. you stay there and will mm -hmm. you continue to be buoyant within your own space mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you have that within are you cultivating that within mm -hmm. yeah how important meditation is it's just such a divine platform for you to receive the messages that you need in order to move forward in your life. For you to, pardon the pun, but to stay afloat. <laughs> I say, for real, for real. Because, because you, you know, yeah. I, I look at all of the, um, I know there are, are so many distractions out there and I consciously have learned to um, limit them so I do not watch TV I am in control of my programming mm -hmm. so you know for the most part I yeah. am 
I, I protect my orifices. So all of my programming comes in through my senses. Mm -hmm. So um, when you have that ability to meditate and to, to really focus and hone in on yourself, you invite a new version of yourself to come through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. That's an mm -hmm. invitation to see yourself, to ask yourself quality questions. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Exactly. And I, I love that because I had a breakthrough today in meditation and it was a, um, you know, we take, we think meditation is, you know, full, full Lotus, you know, got your mudras popping and like you, <laughs> you know, you, you just, um, and, and, and that's, Excellent. Wow. Yes. But again, this university, it's a universe. We're taking, we're in courses. So you put the, yeah. the goal is to keep a specific state, you know, or even non-thinking, you know, um, life is, you can walk in the meditation. You can take a breath and that be a meditation. Yes. And today I got, I had to, I shook that out. I had a remembrance of that because mm. in, in these meditations, you want to be, Focus. You're amplifying your focus, refining the soul as you kind of sharpen at it, get better at it, better at it. Longer you can do this without thinking. Longer you can get in here without expanding in other spaces in the revenue. In other spaces is so tough because your mind, doop, 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 doop. Yes. Oh, it's this time. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, yes. my God. Oh, it's yes. itch right here. Oh, the spider. mind is designed to think. That's what it is Monkey. designed to do. Monkey exactly. mind. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and, you know, so today I was like, because I've been working on a project that I'm working, um, that I'm developing, cultivating the legs for to, you know, until uh -huh. it can walk. And right. I was just thinking about that one of those projects. And it, it amazed me because mm -hmm. I've never done that in meditation. I've never thought about just that one project and it's unfolding. And mm -hmm. then, and then, what? And, and then, as I've been practicing, um, we call it hemisync. You know, working on yes. both hemispheres of the of of the brains syncing together, and that that bridge in between. And there's a state that you go into in the meditation that, as you continuously do it, get practice. You can feel when the brain shifts into the in the in the gamma state or the th the theta state or you know these theta, yeah, it's I believe it's alpha, beta, and then theta. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 mm -hmm. and so as you practice you learn which is which is which so i can't say which is which but i remember i remember shifting into the space i've been doing this meditation wow. for months now and yes. then with that shift i was able to hold the space and then think about that one project and when i tell you this thing opened up like a website in my mind like tab and i was like okay okay i right, who's gonna do this okay what my board is gonna look like you know who am right. i getting uh, when can I start this vision? Okay, do I have this? Okay, when I was going through all that, and, and the the it was coming like the directly. checklist. Yeah, and it, but it was coming to me the answers, and I asked that and query the consciousness, and then that this that, and it was amazing because I never done that within those states. I've projected in those states, but I didn't pull up my like go. You know, you gotta got go in there with my notebook. And I was like, okay, all right. Now what? Within that same state, I would always well, throw you... it out there into the consciousness, but not necessarily wait for specific answer on these particular projects. And it's, it's closer to reality now. That is wonderful. And I think that is largely in part to the hemi sinking and being as fastidious as you can be about your practice. You know, um, meditation is, it's, it's, it's a mental gym. Mm. So what happens when you go to the gymnasium? What happens? Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, stronger. whatever. Yeah. And, and someday it's leg day. So, you know, you'll start to see the development of your quadriceps, you mm. know, some days you'll start to see the days of your hamstrings and et cetera. Mm. And so on this particular day, you happen to notice 
mm-hmm. what you saw, the ability, that muscle that had been developed so um so fastidious 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 is easy for me to say. So um <laughs> no being being so dogged about um your practice and making it a priority that you were able to get to this place of wow, I just unlocked another door in my meditation. Mm-hmm. So it's like another level of strength. Yeah, yes. And yes. in that strength, you become a larger magnet because that's what it's all about, becoming a, a magnet for more of the information that you mm-hmm. need to serve your purpose here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love mm-hmm. that for you. Thank I you. love that for you. That's excellent. <laughs> right. There's, and that, that's, when you said something about the, the TV thing, that was, that was important. And I'm going to get back to this yeah. boy. Oh, this is the boy. Frequencies. And, Listen, exactly. All so, that too. Frequency, programming and then identifying yeah. like guard the gates, the ears, the eyes, the nose. You know, all of your skin. orifices. All of your orifices. How, how get, exactly. How how do things get into the body? Being the true yes. God at the gate. Uh what's, what's my girl's name? Uh in Wakanda. Uh Dora Malaji. Are you, yes. are you here? Yes. yes, yes, yes. You ain't coming in here without no. without a clearance from the royal That's family. Right. <laughs> that's right that's right we don't let any old body in here because hey the body is what a temple a the temple. temple your temple mm-hmm. so you cannot you you would be well served to mm-hmm. take that position and and not just let any old thing in mm-hmm. exactly because exactly. you know grandma used to say that'll do will never do mm-hmm. and so you can't yeah mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. it's like how are we serving ourselves in that thought Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. are we um, are we just willy nilly because something is in proximity to us that mm-hmm. we let it in? No, mm-hmm. 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 exactly. Using that discernment, what goes in, because that actually, you know, when you're trying to uh, figure out what's wrong, if you're feeling ill, and you're like, dang, what, what was it? Something I ate? And was it something I drank? Now, was it where I was? Where, where I was at? You know, you kind of go through these spaces, and being that you know exactly what went in enables you to dissect the problem and see what's going on so then you will quickly to adjust to the remedy find the balance but if you're like hey, i had something from here oh such and such made some macaroni and cheese over here well, i went to the buffet over here and then i had that like you don't know you don't know where you got the food poisoning you don't know what happened you know where you got the bgs from i don't know what happened <laughs> all but i know just, so i'm not feeling right and again, that goes in with the thoughts too. And the thoughts yes. that come to me, be coming from everywhere. I'm like, yo, where did that come from? And I even had a time, but uh, it still happens now every once in a while where a song would pop in my head. I'm like, where did that song come from? Or a lyric. But like this specific song, this 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 happened to this come there. Happened. And I try to remember where did I last hear the song? Or, or what's the song trying to tell me? And all right. these things, or uh, a number of things. I'm sure many of you and many of us had those experiences where something just comes in, like, is that mine? And you check it and you let it ride. That's right. You mm. have to validate your thoughts' credentials. Mm. Do oh. you belong here? Yes. Mm. Right? Do you be- def- define do you belong here? Like, again, as in, self-worth you know and and where you're going yes yes what is it that you have um come to bring me through divine intelligence what am i to to amass from this this um this thought is it is it um something that i need to go towards Mm -hmm. or retract from Mm -hmm. you know thinking about things and in a way that um, are are personal, but at the same time universal, mm. because we are not operating singularly. You know, your experience affects my experience, affects her experience, affects that tree, affects that bridge, affects that mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we are all, mm-hmm. and all is one. Gotcha. So yeah, exactly. so those thoughts come up. They do exactly. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. And so in our, in our buoyness, buoy, everybody can talk, think about buoys for the next, the next couple of days, right? <laughs> so in buoys, mm-hmm. think about 
I'm, I'm brought to a teacher of teachers actually that after those who are on this this journey of consciousness uh, journey to self and we all go to this journey of spirituality uh finding out you know the divine what that looks like for me what that looks like for you what that looks like for them and that that's your that's your nucleus that you continuously refine the soul as you go through this these soul refining practices mm -hmm. and in this in these practices we look for teachers or say when when the student is ready the teacher will appear out there in the midst of space that's called a youtube <laughs> you know or the classroom and you just happen to click on the video and things they may be saying resonates with you. Or it could be in a classroom, you might have looked through their syllabus and it resonated with you. And and those things. I give thanks for this wise teachers who stand firm in what they know to be true and speak from that unique space and shine and resonate and allow you to the vulnerability to come in, learn what they can learn, ask questions. You know, I'm a teacher myself, but and I admire the art of teaching yes. because it's a skill to to you know it was every great teacher like I learned from my students as well. Yes, yeah. There's a uh, I got one of my favorite teachers is Savan Bomar, phenomenal cat, great brother, and in my space where I felt like I was alone, you know, thinking this way, you know, wanting mm -hmm. to connect to the ancestors, wanting to think, think about the universe, think about the, the cosmos and how it's being, you know, constructed. Mm -hmm. A lone bell, you know, singing, ringing. That caught my ear that allowed me mm -hmm. to continue my journey without skipping a beat and aided me in some blueprints that were, were, phenomenal and and aided a tribe and actually that we can connect in and connect with other souls on the journey back to self back to the most high in themselves mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i give thanks for that brother so as you were yeah. speaking of teachers yeah. and you know savan is is um one of the most incredible minds and spirits of our time and mm -hmm. I, I do give thanks for that brother However, um, I wanted to add an experience that I had about two days ago ah. where I learned I learned from a fool. Okay, yes. Tell me this story. <laughs> Beep, <play. laughs> well, it, it, it's, it's a very short story and, and I won't, you know, I'll spare you all the details and, and things like that. But basically what I was able to learn from this fool was to be malleable, mm. um, to, it, it was a reminder because I am a pretty malleable person, but mm. his actions and his, his behavior in a group conversation reminded me of the importance of being malleable because when you are malleable, you're able to learn more, you're able to, um, it, there's just so much growth in a person um, being able to hear another person's, like, hear another person's um, point of view and mm. consider it. Mm. And that I learned from this fool that it's very important that you don't always put yourself in spaces with people whom you agree with. Mm -hmm. yes 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 it, it was just like mm -hmm. mind expansive to to be there and again how you you know I kind of went into a meditation because when you listen to a fool you really don't want to um absorb too much mm -hmm. so there had to be a level of meditation where I had to go inward and mm -hmm. start to process what was external. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking to myself, there are parts of this conversation that are of value, even though I do not agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when someone offers you something, 
even if it's, it's not something that you subscribe to, take mm-hmm. a moment and look at it at least and see what you can extrapolate from it. And I'm going to go back to my grandparents again. Grandpa said, eat the meat and leave the fat. Mm. <laughs> That's big. That's big. It that's that's big. one of the first uh one of the first things I began to realize on the journey that I had to mm-hmm. let go. That was a big part of Christianity from my perspective, where I came from from the south. Yes. It was judgment. It was judgment. Like their what they say, I guess I had you had to release it. So hearing mm-hmm. other people from other religions, other backgrounds entity space i'm a drove a witness you know it's a space where you can share your story with me you can yes. share your, your journey with me but yes. don't force it on me don't push it on right. me like, don't make that the only you know yeah. so there are many like, doors I can, I can learn something from your story there's a there's, yes. a, there's a there's a, a climax and a moral to every story you i one would hope yes. i got a friend that i might make i may differ <laughs> but <laughs> you there's something, like you said, there's something you can learn from every story. You can pull from it. You can extract from it. Even if it's mm-hmm. just honoring somebody else's journey. Like, oh, that's another path in which that's another time. Like two things can be true. Three things can be true. Exactly. Four things can be true. Exactly. One doesn't have to be discredited. And, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to give you a, a perfect for instance. And we, um, I was driving, I was in a car last night with um, some wonderful, brilliant women. One of the sisters was from Kenya and the other hey. one is from Florida. Hey! Hey! My name is Kenyan. Yes. All right. All right. Loving it. So the sister says, um, we were talking about... Um, um, like, you know, the the culture where people, uh, the cancel culture, right? Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, the assassination of the characters of of um, Black men and, and things like that. And I said, you know, you must always remember we're not disposable. We are all here playing a part for mm-hmm. a very good reason. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you, I'm seeing the atrocities of someone else play out publicly, but mm-hmm. no one is seeing mine. Mm. you know what I mean Mm -hmm. and I Mm -hmm. said also let's not be so quick let's always remember and I I gave the um the um reference to R. Kelly and Mm -hmm. I said do you remember I said you know and I never watched any of those like documentaries about what he did or whatever like that I was like okay yeah I I know enough about what happened to say okay yeah that happened right? right however he gave us one of the most prolific songs this world will ever sing. Mm. Which I one? I believe I can fly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And that, you, you, know, was, you cannot I, I, take that away from, you do not get to erase brilliance like that. That yeah. was his gift. That was his talent. Exactly. Exactly. And two things could be true, right? Right. So going yeah. back to two things being true, like the peace sign, right? Two. Yeah. Here we go. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you got the balloons over there. <laughs> you 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 trigger that or did this trigger that? What's I triggered it? it. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see it. <laughs> what is going on? Is that a thing, Zoom? Wait a minute. I guess... Can I get some balloons over here? Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Isn't that something? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. But the balloons went up. That's wild that the balloons that, went up. I'm glad we recorded confirmation it how to happen. <laughs> That's crazy. Yes. Was, yeah, <laughs> but you know, our, like, our Kelly spirit was like, yeah, you see, you see somebody, you see, somebody knows. <laughs> somebody knows. And, and, and that, when you first said that, that was the first thing I thought of. I thought of him because I was like, yeah, well, this my experience with this cat is way different. You know, my truth is that it was at the family reunions, the parties. My and I think I was in third grade. My sister was in like first grade. The pageant, and I, we did a pageant, and she danced that. As, I sung it when I was a kid, but my sister everyone danced. sang it. My grand, exactly. My grandma made like a special dress for her. That I, I believe I can fly, Ooh, and everyone I remember my sister dancing in her dress. So that that memory was is golden. 
from the it will you know, never the exactly did as the man, but the the music and, and what it gave, it was like I said, prolific. When I two things can be the truth, mm-hmm. and and three things can be the truth, and four things can be the truth, mm-hmm. and I think as we do that work as buoys, mm-hmm. we can allow those things to just be and exist it it is um we are well served to allow those things to be and not um cancel Mm -hmm. and diminish Mm -hmm. because that can never if you ask me that can never ever be canceled or diminished right right exactly so as we float continuously in this now moment we're gonna leave y'all to sit with this buoy as the buoy Mm -hmm. and keep vibing in resonance any closing remarks supreme sister sari well what i'd like to say is i thank you all for being here with us and um, witnessing some of our conversations you know we decided to do this podcast based on the the depths of uh, which we go when we just called each other on the phone and and we're like you know we need to share this with our our family our human family because these conversations are for us Mm -hmm. when we speak to one another when we counsel one another we're counseling each other as well as others through our words it's medicine and i feel like the medicine that we have it is meant for us to share so I do hope you had a, a great a great dosage today and that you'll come back for more. Mm-hmm. Yes. Exactly. And I love music. I'm an ethnomusicologist. And I I just I'm a music enthusiast. I make up songs, not the not, not the, the Anita Baker or you know the 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 Kelly, you know, I'm myself. And one of the things I do is I sing to myself to keep myself afloat to keep myself in balance. And one of the songs I love to sing to myself is Joy On My Name. You know, I put joy on my name. And it goes, I put joy on my name. I put that joy on my name. When others' thoughts ain't the same, I put that joy on my name. I put joy on my name. I put that joy on my name. Yes, I do. I put joy on my name. I put that joy on my name. When others' thoughts ain't the same, I put that joy on my name. I put joy on my name. I put that joy on my name. That's so good. I I had to get in there. <laughs> I had to get in there. And I thank you. This is why we that feels good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Can't folk. Yes, exactly. So family, oh, so... this is oh. zero to one as you move forward, walk, and even run. And Don't glide. forget to put the zero before the one. one. Move in order. Oldness. Oldness. <laughs>